The drama Sharper for Apple TV Plus tells the tale of several characters whose lives become intertwined in a web of deceit and falsehoods. The movie, which is split into chapters that follow the perspectives of various characters, makes it clear that nobody is who they seem. The audience is compelled to pay close attention to every detail and decipher what each plot twist signifies for the character's future. It could be a little challenging to determine who was ultimately duped and who prevailed because the entire sequence of events becomes so muddled and confusing by the conclusion. Here, we analyze that unexpected conclusion. Spoilers ahead. Tom is the owner of a small New York bookstore. He has kept his distance from the outside world ever since his mother passed away. But he is enamored when Sandra enters the shop. They get along right away, and a date becomes the start of a satisfying relationship. Tom learns from Sandra's brother Jason that he has become involved with the wrong crowd as they discuss their troubled pasts together. If Sandra doesn't pay them back, they'll come after her. She doesn't, however, have that cash. Tom says that Sandra can get the few hundred thousand dollars she needs from him because he is the billionaire's son. They decide to meet up after Sandra has given them the money. However, she never comes back. Her sudden disappearance makes it clear that Tom has been conned. When the story shifts to Sandra's perspective, we discover that she was trained by a man named Max to con money out of Tom. Eventually, it is discovered that Madeline, who marries Tom's millionaire father, Richard, is operating a con with Max. Tom was duped in order to demonstrate that he was careless and unreliable with money. As a result, Richard gives Madeline the most of his fortune, leaving Tom with barely enough money to get by. It appears for a little moment that Madeline's strategy has been successful. But when Sandra returns, everything disintegrates. How does Tom get his inheritance back from Madeline? Tom was forced out of his fortune because he demonstrated that he was unable to make wise choices. He offered a woman he knew very little $350,000. His father's faith in him was shaken by this. Tom, though, didn't care about the money at all. That had to do with Sandra betraying his confidence. He can't let that go, so he hires a private investigator, Pi, who used to work for his father to uncover information that no one else could. They locate Sandra, who appears to have relapsed into drug use. Madeline worries that the truth will come out when she is taken home. In exchange for helping Max, Sandra agrees to keep his identity a secret. Madeline contacts Max and they meet in a parking lot where Sandra confronts him. A few minutes later, Tom and the Pie show up. It turns out that the Pie had been following Sandra and Madeline, and this was to prove to Tom that they were riffing with him together. Tom attempts to murder Sandra and Madeline after learning the shocking information. Tom is shot throughout it all and passes away immediately. Madeline requests that the Pie, Sandra, and police not be called. She pledges to give Richard's foundation the fortune back. After that, the vehicle pulls away, and Sandra, Max, and Madeline are loaded onto an aircraft to depart from New York for good. When Madeline and Max begin discussing money, she admits that Tom should have received the funds from the charity. But since she is the trustee and he is no longer alive, the money is still hers. Sandra is disgusted by the fact that they are still thinking about the money and not about Tom's death. She goes to the washroom on the plane, and that's when Madeline notices that Tom's blood on her hand is not actually blood. It is something else, which means that Tom didn't really die. They realize that Sandra is not on the plane anymore, and this is when they realize that Sandra and Tom had conned them. How did Tom and Sandra con Madeline and Max? Because their victims were mostly not innocent, Max trained Sandra not to feel bad about defrauding others when he took her under his wing. This was accurate in the case of the man she had to seduce in order to pull off her first scam, but Tom's situation was different. After spending time with him, she understood that he was a victim of her deceit who had lost everything. After the scam was over, she and Max parted ways. Yet when Sandra learned that Richard was Tom's father and read about his passing in the papers, she regretted what she had done. Sandra returns to Tom to make things right and informs him in detail of Max and Madeline's scheme. The inheritance had already been given to his stepmother by that point. They'll have to trick her to give it back, but it won't be simple. As a result, they turn to Tipsy for assistance. Tipsy was a con artist who had previously worked with Max and Madeline, but was never paid what he was due. 
He brings Goldie, who has his own crew of con artists, to Tom and Sandra. The pie is actually played by Goldie and his crew. Sandra impersonates a drug addiction and makes her withdrawal appear natural. What happens after she is brought to Tom's house was intricately planned until the moment that Tom gets shot. We discover that they had practiced that scene a number of times. So, when Sandra pushes the gun out of Tom's hands, it was premeditated. They wanted Madeline to pick up the gun so that it would look like she was the one who shot Tom. Conning money out of people was one thing, but killing someone wasn't something that Madeline could get away with. It was the fear of spending the rest of her life in prison that got her to forego the inheritance. Once that happened, she and Max were let go and Tom returned to his life. What happens to Madeline and Max? The main scam used by Madeline was to claim Richard's inheritance in her name. She was aware that he would pass away quickly because he was old and unwell. She conned Tom out of the fortune using Max and Sandra, and her scheme was successful. Madeline was afraid that if Sandra returned, her true nature would be exposed and she would wind herself in jail. Max called Sandra, thinking Sandra was infatuated with him, and they met up, which is when the climactic showdown took place. Madeline didn't intend to kill Tom, but she had to escape her predicament after his passing. To make it look like she wanted to set things right, she offered to give her entire inheritance to Richard's foundation. But even then, she was improvising. The foundation was supposed to go to Tom, and Madeline was made its trustee. With Tom dead, she knew that the money would still solely be hers. So, she played along. On the plane, however, she comes to the conclusion that Tom was never shot and that he and Sandra had duped both her and Max. But, everything is now beyond her control. She will have to carry on her nefarious activities elsewhere as she is unable to return to New York. At this point, there is nothing she can do to change it and no trick she can use to get even a single penny of the millions of dollars she possessed. It's still not apparent to Max whether he would want to carry on playing tricks with her after the betrayal he experienced at her hands. But then, he did return to con Tom when Madeline asked him to. It looks like he is still devoted to her and we can assume that they will take their business elsewhere. Do Tom and Sandra end up together? When Tom and Sandra first met, they were both going through difficult times. This was one of the factors that led to their connection, even though Sandra was meant to be playing along with him. Was not, however, as driven to con Tom as Max and Madeline were. They made it abundantly evident that they didn't care much about one another and were only interested in making money. Sandra, on the other hand, didn't want to sabotage a victim's life. She returned to assist Tom regain his inheritance because this made her naturally superior to the duo. In the end, once Max and Madeline have been beaten thanks to her and Tom's scam, Tom and Sandra find themselves back at the bookstore. Here, they had a conversation similar to the one they had when they first met, but Sandra this time asks Tom out to dinner. It's obvious that Tom has pardoned her for tricking her the first time. There is undeniably chemistry between them. But Tom can't just let Sandra's deception go.